The Newborn by George de la Tour is a luminous depiction of the first tender moments of life, rendered with a profound sense of tranquility and wonder. In this 17th century work, Latour employs chiaroscuro to dramatic effect, bathing the scene in a soft, divine light that seems to emanate from the infant, symbolizing purity and the beginning of life. The mother, robed in warm hues, cradles her child with a serene expression, suggesting a deep, silent reverence for the miracle she holds. Mother and Child by Tamara de Lempica is a striking representation of the maternal bond, rendered in the artist's signature Art Deco style. The painting captures the mother's protective embrace and the child's peaceful slumber, evoking a sense of serene intimacy. Lempica's use of smooth, flowing lines and bold, clear colours emphasises the sculptural quality of the figures, while their expressions suggest a world of internal emotion beneath the surface. The mother's contemplative gaze and the child's gentle repose serve as a focal point, drawing the viewer into a moment of quietude and affection. The artwork's clean geometry and the luxurious texture of the fabric signal the modernity of the era, yet the timeless theme of motherhood anchors the piece in universal human experience. In The Artist's Eldest Daughter Combing Her Little Brother's Hair by Claude Lefebvre, we witness a tender depiction of familial care captured in this touching 17th century portrait. The elder sister, with gentle hands, carefully combs her brother's hair. Her gaze is reflective and nurturing, indicating a routine steeped in affection. The young boy looks upward, a gesture of trust and enjoyment, hinting that this is a familiar and comforting ritual. Lefebvre masterfully directs the lighting to the faces and hands of the siblings, imbuing their skin and eyes with vitality and creating a soft radiance around their interaction. The rich colours of their attire stand out against the dark backdrop, drawing attention to the intimate act and the subjects involved. The composition narrates a dual story of responsibility and tenderness. The sister, positioned slightly behind the boy, embodies the role of a caregiver. Their closeness and her delicate touch reflect a deep, loving bond. The strategic inclusion of a mirror adds a layer of depth, revealing the sister's attentive face and her brother's profile, further accentuating her protective gaze. An Old Man and His Grandson by Domenico Gerlandeo is a tender depiction of familial affection that transcends the boundaries of age. In this Renaissance portrait, the wisdom of age and the innocence of youth are bridged by a look of mutual adoration. The old man's weathered face, marked by the distinctive features of Renafima, is rendered with a candid realism that was groundbreaking for its time. Yet, it is the palpable tenderness and respect between grandfather and grandson that truly captivates the viewer. Gerlandeo's detailed work on the textures of the skin and clothing, along with the serene landscape visible through the window, create a backdrop that enriches the emotional depth of the scene. Helen Formant with her children by Peter Paul Rubens is a vibrant portrayal of familial affection and maternal grace. 
In this lively 17th century composition, Rubens captures the warmth and intimacy of a moment shared between a mother and her children. The central figure, Helene Formant, is depicted with an air of gentle elegance, her gaze soft and her posture relaxed as she engages with her young ones. The children, adored with playful hats and engaging expressions, appear animated and affectionate, leaning in close to their mother. Rubens' skillful use of color and texture brings the scene to life, with the rich fabrics and lively flesh tones creating a sense of movement and vivacity. Elizabeth V.G. Lobrun's self-portrait with her daughter, Julie, is an 18th century painting that stands out for its portrayal of maternal affection and the artist's own identity. The mutual gaze between mother and daughter, full of love and admiration, speaks to the deep bond they share. Lobrun was known for her ability to convey her subjects in her life, and this self-portrait is no exception. It reflects the Enlightenment's emphasis on individual emotion and the special relationship between mother and child. The Duboeuf family in 1820 by Claude-Marie Duboeuf, housed in the Paris Louvre Museum, is a captivating 19th century group portrait that warmly captures the essence of family unity and individual character. In the painting, the members of the Duba family are presented with remarkable clarity and depth, each face rendered with its own distinct personality and emotion. The father's assured presence contrasts with the gentle, nurturing demeanor of the matriarch, while the children, adorned in the fashion of the era, exhibit a range of expressions from introspective to playful. The youngest child, with rosy cheeks, and a striking gaze draws the viewer's attention, embodying the innocence and hope of the family's future. Dubuff's skillful composition and lifelike portrayal of his subjects create an intimate tableau that transcends time, inviting onlookers to ponder the stories and bonds shared by the family. This piece stands as a testament to Dubuff's mastery in capturing the intricate dynamics of family life during the early 19th century. Lucas Cranach the Elder's painting, Hercules with Omphail, brings a famous Greek story to life with a playful twist. The strong hero Hercules, known for his mighty feats, is shown doing something quite unusual for a man of his strength, spinning wool, this job was typically done by women back in those days. The painting shows him surrounded by women dressed in fancy clothes, like those worm in the 1500s, which is when Cranach was creating his art. Hercules looks a bit silly, dressed in a woman's outfit, doing a task that shows how much he's under the spell of Omphale, the queen who made him her servant. The women seem to be having a good time, teasing Hercules as he spins. The whole scene is full of fun, as if the women are sharing a private joke about this big strong man doing such delicate work. In this painting by Diego Velázquez, we see Democritus, often known as the laughing philosopher, with a knowing smile on his face. Democritus believed that laughter was a way to make light of life's craziness, and Velázquez really brings this idea to life. The philosopher is pointing at a globe, which might be his way of showing that he finds the world and the people in it a bit silly or strange. This was a master of capturing people's expressions and the little details that make them look real. In this picture, you can almost feel Democritus's amusement and how he's a bit separate from the everyday hustle and bustle, smiling at the quirks of life from his own quiet spot. The painting lets us share a moment with Democritus, where we're in on the joke about the world's silliness, just like him.
In The Clubfoot, the artist Jusik de Ribera shows us a young boy who, despite having a clubfoot, stands with a big stick over his shoulder and a smile that lights up his face. He's holding out a piece of paper that seems to have something written on it. The boy looks like he's been through a lot, but he's not sad or embarrassed. Instead, he looks like he's full of life and not bothered by what others might think of him. Ribera's painting is a powerful piece that shows us how someone can be happy and strong on the inside, even if life is tough on the outside. The boy's cheerful smile and the pride in the way he stands tell us that he's more than his disability. It's a reminder to us all that what's in our hearts is what really counts, and that everyone has the right to feel proud and joyful, no matter what challenges they face. Franz Hull's Buffoon with a Lute is a lively painting of a jester who seems to be in the middle of a song, his face all lit up with laughter. Buffoons were known to make people laugh with their jokes and music, and this one looks like he's having a great time. The way Howells painted him, with bright colours and a big open smile, makes it feel like the buffoon's happiness is spilling right out of the painting. The jester's eyes are almost twinkling, and you can almost hear the music coming from his lute. Howells was really good at showing people's feelings in his paintings, it's like the buffoon is sharing a fun moment with us, reminding us not to take things too seriously and to enjoy the lighter side of life. Joseph Ducroux's self-portrait is a quirky and amusing take on the usual serious business of painting oneself. Here, he's made himself look a bit silly, his hat's on wonky, he's got a grin on his face and he's pointing right at us as if to say, gotcha. It's like he's inviting us into a private joke, or maybe making a bit of fun of the whole idea of a stuffy formal portrait. By doing this, Ducreux shows us that he doesn't take himself too seriously, and that he's got a sense of humour about life. It's a refreshing change from the more serious or noble self-images artists usually created back then. Pierre-Auguste Renoir's Dance in the Country is a vibrant snapshot of a couple enjoying a dance together. It's as if Renoir has frozen a moment in time where everything is perfect. The way they look at each other, their comfortable smiles, and the casual elegance of their dance. You can almost hear the music and feel the warmth of the countryside around them. The woman's dress seems to swirl with the strokes of Renoir's brush, and the man looks like he's completely caught up in the joy of the moment. The way their clothes and the background are painted gives a sense of the breezy atmosphere of an outdoor dance. This painting is a great example of the Impressionist style, where the colours and light are more important than showing every little detail. It's like Renoir wants us to feel the movement and the mood, rather than worry about what everything looks like up close. This piece is all about the feeling of being happy together, dancing without a care in the world. Mark Chagall's double portrait with a glass of wine captures the enchanting and dreamlike essence of love. In this painting, we see Chagall and his wife, Bella, floating joyfully above the town of Vitebsk. Their faces are lit up with smiles and the feeling of their love is so strong that it seems to lift them into the air. The whole scene feels magical, like a happy dream where anything is possible. The painting is filled with bright colours and playful details that feel like they're dancing around the couple. Shegel's unique style makes the moment feel timeless and full of laughter. He shows us that love isn't just a feeling, but an adventure that can take you soaring over the rooftops. It's a beautiful reminder of how love can make you feel light as a feather, free from all the ordinary things that keep your feet on the ground. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Your support helps me continue creating more content like this. Thank you.